we would like to give you a quick overview of Queen Anne County's new open data website. You can find it either from the county's homepage at qac.org or just by typing data.qac.org in your browser's address bar. Our intention is to provide useful, timely, and interesting data and inf information to residents and businesses in the county. Information such as financial data, property data, and maps, and other various pieces of information that we typically com compile and record here in county government. We are aiming for open and transparent sharing of this information and are eager to continue to add more data as it is collected. You'll see here on the landing page at data.qac.org four blue boxes and several featured data sets below them. Let's walk through some of them so we can show you what can be done with this information and how to navigate around the site. First, let's select Open Data Sets. In here, you'll find the raw data tables that drive the various charts, tables, and maps that are generated throughout the site. Let's select one and see what it looks like. Let's pick the county's operating expenditure budget for FY 2016. So you'll see that it's tab tabular data, similar to a spreadsheet. And now notice that you can sort filter, and even export the data as an Excel spreadsheet. Or export. Also, if you click the About button on the top right and select View, view Full Page, you can scroll down and see who published the data and even contact the data owner with questions or requests. Keep in mind that we want this site to be useful to the consumer and if there's any type of data that you don't see here now, just contact us at opendata at qac.org and request it. We'll do our best to provide it and post it here on our open data site. Now let's go back to the landing page. The next blue button will take you to the county's budget information page. As you can see, our revenue budget and our expenditure budget are both balanced at $129 million for fiscal year 2017, and we have a little over $101 million currently budgeted in open capital projects, which span more than one fiscal year. If you go into the revenue budget, you can see the total categorized in many different ways. Here is the revenue budget categorized by service. You can also see it categorized by department, division, or revenue type. By hovering over or clicking any of these bar graphs, you can drill down to see further details. So for tax revenue, you can see that most of the county's funds come from property and income taxes. And below each chart are the figures that are matched in the above bars. Now over in the left, you can drill back up to the higher category levels. Also at the top, you can select the year you want to view. For now, we just have 2017 in here, but we will be loading prior years in the next few weeks. Quick note here, at the top of each of these open data pages, there are links back to the data home page, a link to more help and assistance, as well as all the budget information on the county's website. We'll visit the FAQ page a little bit later. Let's go back to the open budget page and visit the expenditure bu budget. It's very similar to the revenue budget pages except for different categories. But by law, we have to pass a balanced budget each year, which means our revenues shall meet or exceed budgeted expenditures. So both budgets are at $129 million. Again, we can drill down by service, expenditure description, department. So let's look at this top budget expenditure, education. You 
you'll see here where it's split by allocation component unit. That's the um, the main um, goes to the main board of education for operating expenditures. Uh, this is OPEB, which are um, other post employment benefits that cover uh, health care and other items for uh, teacher retirees and restricted allocation which is a, uh, a payment um, back to the county to for the parks department to um, maintain in the landscaping and fields and property services at, the, at each of the schools. Remember all of the raw data that drives these charts and graphs are available for viewing and download on the Open Data Sets page we reviewed earlier. Let's return to the Open Data homepage now by clicking here. And we'll look at Open Spending. This is similar to the Open Budget module except that we will now be looking at actual expenditures rather than budgeted expenditures. We have fiscal 2016 expenditures in here now and we'll be adding 2017 expenditures as they occur. The county's fiscal year starts on July 1st of each year, so we don't have a full month of data yet for 2017. So down here you can see the top five spending categories and top county vendors. You'll notice that our largest expense category and largest vendor is again the Board of Education. Second are staff pay and benefits. You can select this vendor link and get to the entire expenditure ledger, ledger broken down by vendor. Um, budget type. Which is either operating or capital fund. Department. or expense category. Then for each category you can click on the checkbook button and see the individual checks. Let's see. Four vouchers that were printed to each vendor. You can also select this download button to obtain this entire data table in Excel and download it to your um, computer. Let's go back to the Open Data homepage again. So Open Data Sets, Open Budget, and Open Spending are the three main modules, or they are the backbone of the Open Data system. These other buttons show off interesting or often requested pieces of information, as well as map data that can be mapped, like the locations of capital projects, which look like this. So here in the below table, we have a listing of all of our um, open uh, capital projects, a description of the project, the phase of the project, region where the project is, and this Latin long and address information over here, which drives this map data. By zooming in, um, we can select, uh, let's see, can select a, a, a mapped project. If you click on it, View details. So this is the Southern Kent Island um, sewer phase one capital project. Uh, some of the projects were we have photos and um, address location if it's applicable. Um, here we have a uh, link to the ski project website where more information can be found. Um, so what is this? This is the Chesapeake College Health and Athletics Building Capital Project. Um, you can see here it's recently completed, um, but it received funding up through 2016 and it's uh, still on our map here. As you zoom in on the map, and as you zoom in, it narrows down the projects in the table below to just those projects within the zoomed in area. So if we zoom in on Centerville, the below list will uh, narrow down 
until we're just showing um, Centerville projects in the list below here. And by selecting each of these, again, we have more information down here about the particular project and, and where it is. You can save different views. If you make an account in here, you can save uh, custom views um, and tables that you uh, would like to save and look at later or download later. You can save your own account if you sign up for an account here. Um, this next data set um, are, um, is a list of our vendor checks from July 1, 2015 through June 2016, which again can be sorted and filtered or downloaded if you so choose. But this is each of our, um, there's over uh, 65,000 transactions in here of uh, vendor checks and um, Let's see, it also has contact, some contact information for each of our, the county's vendors. Um, is everyone we pay is uh, loaded in here. Here we have real property assessments, which is another table and map uh, combination. Uh, the county has about um, roughly 26,000 uh, properties registered. Um, and this is the list of every single property in the county and its address and its asset, current assessed value. Map, book, uh, zone, district, deed, book, and page for every property. There's so many that it, um, it kind of aggregates them until you zoom in. And the more you zoom in, we'll finally get to a point where it's you can see each individual property with an individual dot. And if you click on any property, you'll see the property details down here below the assessment and um, deed information, uh, physical address. You can also search up here and find, find specific properties just by typing in the address. Let's do it like that. And finally, um, we have a link to the sheriff's office uh, table of incidents with address, time, location of um, every incident that um, they report to or receive a call for. Finally, at the top of each page is a help link. that will take you back to the county's website where we try to answer some questions as well as direct you to more tutorials on how to consume this information. We also tell you how to get in touch with us to ask questions about the data or to request a more or different type of data that we may not have posted yet. We hope this new open data endeavor is useful. And again, please contact us with any questions uh, we'd love to hear what you think about this new website. And again, our contact information is pretty much posted everywhere throughout the site, but it's also here in the FAQ page um, and a phone number and email. Thank you.